Two years ago, here at TED, I reported that we had discovered at Saturn with the Cassini spacecraft an anomalously warm and geologically active region at the southern tip of the small Saturnian moon Enceladus. Seen here, this region seen here for the first time in a Cassini image taken in 2005. This is the South Polar region with the famous tiger stripe fractures crossing the South Pole. And seen just recently in late 2008, here is that region again, now half in darkness because the southern hemisphere is experiencing the onset of August and eventually winter. And I also reported that we'd made this mind-blowing discovery, this once-in-a-lifetime discovery of towering jets erupting from those fractures at the South Pole, consisting of tiny water ice crystals accompanied by water vapor and simple organic compounds like carbon dioxide and methane. And at that time, two years ago, I mentioned that we were speculating that these jets might, in fact, be geysers and erupting from pockets or chambers of liquid water underneath the surface, but we weren't really sure. However, the implications of those results, 